Now it is time to present the 2011 Fritz J. and Dolores H. Russ Prize. Tonight, I introduce to you Dr. Roderick J. McDavis, who became Ohio University's 20th president on July 1, 2004. Dr. McDavis received a bachelor's degree in social sciences and secondary education from Ohio University in 1970, making him only the second university alumnus to lead the university as president. Dr. McDavis, please say a few words. Thank you and good evening. I am very honored to represent Ohio University and our beloved friends, the late Fritz and Dolores Russ, at this prestigious event. We are extremely pleased to participate in partnership with the National Academy of Engineering in awarding the sixth Russ Prize for a bioengineering achievement in widespread use that improves the human condition. Ohio University has a deep and rich commitment to improving the human condition. As the first university established by the Northwest Ordinance of 1787 and chartered in 1804, our university is the first institution of higher learning in the old Northwest Territory. Nearly 32,000 students are enrolled on our six campuses. Throughout Southeast Ohio, students on our main campus represent all 50 states and 100 countries. Ohio University has received numerous recognitions for the work of its faculty, students, and staff who work hard to solve the most pressing issues and problems facing our world. Most notably, former Governor Ted Strickland named Ohio University as a center of excellence in the state of Ohio for two major research areas, energy and the environment, and health and wellness. These designations speak to the talent, creativity, and scholarship of our faculty and staff, especially in engineering and technology. Specifically, our energy and the environment research focuses on the production and delivery of energy and fuels, as well as the monitoring and control of the air and water pollution that results from fuel production. Our health and wellness designation is a recognition of the areas including bioengineering, which the Russ Prize supports. Russ College of Engineers are performing research on targeted drug delivery, breast cancer, metastasis, and the use of virtual haptics or the science of applying touch in the medical diagnosis of back problems. Our work in these areas would not be possible without the Fritz J. and Dolores H. Russ College of Engineering and Technology. One of the 10 degree granting colleges at Ohio University, which was named so in 1994 in honor of our treasured friends and college's generous benefactors. Tonight, we honor them. We are humbled by all they have given to the field of engineering and to Ohio University, and to the commitment they each demonstrated until their last days with us. Thanks in part to Fritz and Dolores, Ohio University has a strong history in engineering education. Our electrical engineering program, of which Fritz is a graduate, offered its first degree in 1891. Today, the Russ College offers degrees across the engineering spectrum. Faculty, staff, and students perform research for leading institutions such as NASA, the Federal Aviation Administration, the Departments of Energy and Defense, and State Departments of Transportation, just to name a few. But one of the university's greatest resources of pride is the Russ Prize, a vision Fritz and Dolores had decades ago. Fritz received his electrical engineering degree in 1942. His first job was with the Naval Research Laboratory here in Washington. Dolores signed on too as a fiscal clerk. While there, Fritz designed data collection equipment for the first U.S. post-war nuclear tests 
and traveled to Bikini Atoll in the Marshall Islands to witness the explosions in 1946. The Russes returned to Ohio in 1948 when Fritz became an electronics engineer at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton. Right alongside him, Dolores became an assistant chief of personnel management at the Aircraft Radiation Laboratory. One of Fritz's achievements was inventing the firing error indicator, which measures the precise distance by which an aircraft gun misses its target and then adjusts the aim prior to the next shot. From that point, Fritz and Dolores' story exemplifies the American dream. They built their company, Systems Research Laboratories, SRL, which specialized in the research and development of electronic systems and auto, automat, uh, automatic control processes from the ground up. They laid the foundation for the building themselves, literally the foundation of the building. With desks purchased from Goodwill, they announced in 1955 that SRL was open for business. In 1987, SRL, with more than 1,000 employees, merged with Arvin Kalspan to encourage future growth. For the next 20 years, they continued their dedication to engineering by supporting engineering education at not only Ohio University, but across the state at both Wright State University and Cedarville University. In 2008, they made history with a humbling $95 million estate gift to the Russ College. Their generosity was the largest charitable gift to any public engineering college in the United States. Fritz and Dolores Russ quite simply have demonstrated a remarkable devotion and loyalty to Ohio University. Clearly, their financial support has been singular. But beyond their financial generosity, the Russes gave of themselves to the university for decades, remaining steadfast in their involvement and offering generously of their counsel. We extend our heartfelt congratulations to Dr. Leroy Hood, recipient of the 2011 Russ Prize. It is with great personal pleasure that I salute Dr. Hood, Fritz and Dolores, and the Russ family, many of whom are here tonight. We are so honored to celebrate the sixth presentation of the National Academy of Engineering Russ Prize. Thank you.